Someone wants to know if you and Manny fresh are brothers. I mean, we not love brothers, but we like brothers. I only producer with Cash Money, Manny Fresh. In the very beginning, I didn't plan on staying behind the scenes, you know, after leaving Cash Money. It's so simple, dude. It's just more so of, you just gotta pay people. Better known by his stage name, Manny Fresh, Byron Otto Thomas is an American record producer and rapper best known for his productions on Cash Money record releases, as well as being half of the hip-hop duo The Big Timers, teaming with Brian Baby Williams. Fresh produced all or most of the 17 multi-platinum, platinum or gold albums for Cash Money records from 1998 to 2004 before leaving the label. This was a daunting task, as Fresh would be the only in-house producer when the company started in 1991. This is the story of DJ Manny Fresh. Byron Otto Thomas, born March 20th, 1969, was raised in the Seven Ward of New Orleans, Louisiana. His mother, a teacher, and his father, the popular local street DJ, Sabu, would encourage Fresh musically from an early age. For holiday gifts, Fresh parents would buy him musical instruments rather than toys. It wouldn't be long before Fresh knew he wanted to pursue a career in music. Fresh would start out DJing school dances in New Orleans and quickly make the transition to small local venues and house parties. And just rocking house parties, you know, if you could keep people's attention or whatever, four or five hours, that's a hard job. Like, keep anybody's attention. At the parties, Fresh would combine the sounds of his Roland TR-808 drum machine with an analog keyboard to create a live performance sound. Fresh's stage name would come from the nickname his father called him Manny and his love for tennis shoes, aka Fresh Kicks, combining them both to come up with Manny Fresh. As a teen, Fresh would form the group New York Incorporated, one of the first New Orleans rap groups. NYC Inc. consisted of Fresh, Mia X, and Dini D. Fresh first local notoriety will come from his collaborations with Gruggy D. They would release their first album, Throw Down, in 1987. Fresh on the wheels of steel and Gruggy D on the mic. They will release two more records together in the late 80s and the early 90s. After their last album together in 93, Fresh would link up with Brian Baby Williams, where he would become the in-house producer for Cash Money Records. Cash Money would start out as a label for bounce music, New Orleans own creation. Fresh would be among the first producers to take elements of bounce and combine them with other forms of music, from classical to reggae. With Fresh on the beats, CMR would make chart-typing album for the Hot Boys, which was composed of Lil Wayne, BG, Juvenile, and Turk, going on to produce all of the group's albums. It would be fair to say that Fresh was half the brains of Cash Money and one of the main reasons for their success. Fresh's production would go on to move over 23 million units. Just to think, it all started because of his DJ father. Surrounded by music while growing up, Fresh would decide at an early age that he had to get a job. That job would be what he loved to do, music. The best is, I said a good compliment, but I wouldn't, you know, say that, but I just love what I do. Hit at my job, I'm just doing my job. Before signing with Cash Money, the parties Manny would DJ would be legendary. It was these legendary parties that brought Fresh to the attention of Gregory D. 1987 Strowdown wouldn't be their only release. In 1992, they would release The Real Deal on RCA Records. Rap fans in the Big Easy would fall in love with the album. With the rap industry focus on the West and East Coast, the album would fail to gain much attention outside of the South. Although they would remain friends, Fresh and Gregory D would split professionally. The stage would now be set for Fresh to hook up with Brian. Baby Williams. Fresh will go on to create the original Cash Money sound. Soon, artists like UNLV, Juvenile, and BG will be taking Cash Money to the top of the independent rap scene. This would be all due in part to Fresh's production. By the late 90s, Cash Money would be the preeminence of the rap label. Manny and Baby will start working on their own group. The two will form the Big Timers in 1998 and release a series of successful singles and albums. Before leaving Cash Money in the mid 2000s, Fresh would take his shot as a solo artist with the release of Nine of Many Fresh, which will feature the chart topping single Real Big. It wouldn't be long before Fresh would part ways with CMR, creating Chubby Boy Records. Fresh would later work with Death Jam South, where CMR would throw a monkey wrench in his program, citing that he still had unfulfilled obligations to cash money. I got this deal with Def Jam through Jay Z. So I go to I go to Lil Wayne. He does the song with me. And as soon as I get ready to put it out, Cash Money shut it down. Still, this wouldn't stop Fresh as he would go on to work with many other artists such as Kanye West and Most Def. 
just to name a few. In 2013, Fresh would work with 2 Chains for the juvenile inspired use to Wayne, Turk, and Juvie with cameo in the video that was filmed in the Seventh Ward. Fresh would reunite with Wayne in 2014 to work on the much anticipated The Quarter Five that had been held up in the courts due to a dispute with Ciamara and Wayne. In 2015, Fresh would be among the first rap artists to be interviewed on stage at the New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival. Fresh, who continued to perform with live bands and tour as a celebrity DJ, would also produce for a diverse group of artists, including the all-female New Orleans brass band. With high hopes going forward, Fresh envisioned a future where hip-hop artists continue to seek inspiration rooted in tradition, pay homage, and expand room for the artists and entities that built the culture from the ground up. With his success, Fresh hoped to open doors for other artists to succeed on their own terms. Fresh will be quoted as saying, it's all right to beat in whatever category you're in. If you are a storyteller, if you are a bling rapper, whatever, anything works. To me, when I was growing up, rap was a teacher. It had a whole bunch of categories, and now we on Get Rich. That's all we on, Get Rich Rich. In the immediate future, Manny Fresh is gearing up to spend the rest of his career revisiting his classics, adding new songs, and DJing live parties. When Fresh announced his unexpected departure from Cash Money Records, he maintained that it was a strictly a business decision, and he holds no ill will towards CMR. On the contrary, Fresh's departure allowed him to get back on good terms with the artists who had left Cash Money earlier, most notably BG, Juvie, and Wayne. This was the story of DJ Manny Fresh. In 2016, Lil Wayne and Birdman would take another step towards ending their ongoing feud by appearing together on Manny Fresh's song, Hate, which would also feature Juvenile. The song takes you back to the early glory days of CMR with snappy gated snare hits and dripping 808 sounds. Juvenile, Wheezy, and Manny trade savage lines, mixing Cristal as a rock Wayne spits. I need a name for it. Call it Chris Rock. A catchy one-liner from Lil Wayne. Brian Baby Williams, aka Birdman, the number one stunner is on the intro and the outro of the song, making the song feel less of a reunion between him and Lil Wayne. The time, they will remain embroiled in a legal battle over the Carter Five. Juvenile, who also had legal issues with cash money, will go in on the track. In a statement given by Fresh, he would suggest that there will be future collaborations that will feature all three. Fresh would go on to say, I've always been the liaison between these guys. They took my word and put their trust in me, bringing everyone together for this hot track. Manny would say, you definitely can expect more from this project. <laughs> 